Understanding tilted uterus during pregnancy, symptoms and ultrasound detection. Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to talk about a condition called tilted uterus during pregnancy. While it's perfectly normal, understanding its implications, including possible symptoms and how it might affect ultrasound scans, is important for expecting mothers and their families. What is a tilted uterus? A tilted uterus, also known as a tipped or retroverted uterus, is a condition where the uterus leans backward at the cervix instead of forward. It's a normal anatomical variance that affects about 20 to 30 percent of women. During pregnancy, the growing uterus generally rectifies itself as the pregnancy progresses, usually by the 10 to 12 weeks mark. What are the common symptoms of a tilted uterus during pregnancy? In many cases, a tilted uterus doesn't cause any symptoms. However, when symptoms do occur, they might include back pain. Due to the position of the uterus, some women may experience more intense lower back pain during early pregnancy. Frequent urination. As the uterus presses on the bladder, it can lead to increased urinary frequency. Discomfort during sexual intercourse. Some women may experience discomfort or pain during intercourse, especially in certain positions. Minor incontinence. Rarely, a tilted uterus may lead to slight urine leakage when coughing or sneezing. How can a tilted uterus affect the detection of the baby during ultrasound scans? It's important to know that a tilted uterus doesn't prevent a healthcare professional from detecting a pregnancy on an ultrasound. However, during the early stages of pregnancy, it might make the baby slightly harder to see. This is because the position of the uterus can affect the angle at which the ultrasound waves hit the uterus. But as the pregnancy progresses and the uterus grows, it generally assumes a more typical position, making it easier to view the baby on ultrasound scans. A tilted uterus during pregnancy is a normal condition that doesn't typically cause problems or complications for the baby or mother. If you have any concerns or are experiencing discomfort, it's always a good idea to speak with your healthcare provider. Thank you for joining us in this discussion, and we hope this has provided you with some useful insight into the matter.